Hey guys, it's Shalise and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Shalise and I post videos one to two times a week. I do makeup tutorials, unboxings, um, travel vlogs, things like that, just whole worldwide of stuff. Um, so if you're into that type of thing, you should definitely subscribe and join the fan band. So this makeup tutorial is based off of the Manny MUA palette by Makeup Geek. I really, really, really love this palette so far. There's just so many colors that are easy to use. This is going to be an everyday type of look, like um, a dramatic, glittery everyday type of look, if you know what I mean. Um, so I really love this palette. I'm going to do a whole video on this palette, like swatches and a review of it. So if you would like to see that, make sure you subscribe so that you're notified of when I do that. But today it's going to be on this makeup look and hopefully you guys really enjoy it. If you do, leave me a comment below, below and let me know. And also give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys like this tutorial. And also let me know if you want to see any more tutorials using this palette because it's amazing and I definitely recommend it. Um, it was $45. I had to order it, um, like pre-order it. It was so hard to do because the website was just like, bleh, Manny blew up the internet. Um, so... Yeah, that is going to be all for my intro, and I will just go ahead and jump right into the video. <laughs> Alrighty, so jumping right in, I'm going to be using the Mini MUA by Makeup Geek palette. But first, I'm going to start off with my face. And then after that, I'm going to prime my face with the Baby Skin um, Primer. I really like this one, and I just like using it, so that's what I'm doing now. And then I'm taking my Maybelline New York Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. It's an airbrush finish and medium one sandy beige. I really like how this looks on my skin. I know when I blend it out in a minute that it's going to look a little bit um, green or orangish type, but it oxidizes really nicely on my skin and you will see that in the video. So I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender right now and doing that forever. <laughs> And then after I do that, I'm going to be taking my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay in the shade Light Neutral and putting that all over my, well not all over my face, but <laughs> putting that under my eyes, on my forehead, um, on my cupid's bow type area, and then on my chin and around like the crevices of my nose. I don't really know what that part's called, but I'm doing that as well. Um, and then I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. I really like how this um, concealer looks. It's one of my favorite high-end concealers that I've been using. Also, I'm going to go ahead and mention that all of the products that I will be using in this video will be listed down below in the description box. Now taking my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, I'm just going to be applying that under my eyes only with the Beauty Blender and making sure that's pretty blended out to brighten my eyes. And then I'm going in with the Makeup Forever HD translucent powder um, all over the rest of my face to set that into place. Now I'm gonna be going in with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot to prime my eyelids for the shadows that we will be using today. And this is one of my favorite parts to do just because I just love priming my eyes, I don't know why. <laughs> Digging right into the palette, we're going to be taking the shade Beaches and Cream. It's a matte tan shade, and I'm going to be using that um, all over my lid, basically, but mainly in my crease, in my upper crease, um, so that the shadows that we will use later on blend nicely. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Frappe and on the same fluffy brush that we used before and put that in my crease and blend that out really well so that it looks really blown out and nicely blended because we are going to put a darker color into the crease. I'm also going to go ahead and apologize for my lighting situation. When I get to my intro and outro, you'll see that the lighting's a lot better. It's because I filmed it later in the day, but when I filmed this, it was still early and the lighting was just not good at all, so I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> After we get that crease all blown out, we're going to be taking the shade Aphrodite on a small pencil brush and outlining um, our crease and then our outer V as well. And then after we do that, we're going to um, fill in just like the very outer part 
of where we outlined that little triangle area there and then taking a big fluffy brush that doesn't have any extra product on it and blending it out like crazy. Um, it takes a while for this to blend, especially when you put use a pencil liner on that. But once you get to that part, that looks like that, we're going to be taking the shade Luna. It's really pretty sparkly shade. I'm going to be sweating it with my chill setting spray and then dabbing that on all over my lid basically. And then after we have that all dabbed on, we're going to be taking the shade Cosmopolitan and popping that right on the center, but only on the center just to add another pop of shimmery color. I just think it looks really pretty. It's totally optional. You don't have to do this step, but I like how it looks. And then taking a big fluffy brush again with no extra products and blending that out so we don't have any harsh lines between the matte shadows in the crease and the lid color. After we complete that step, we are going to be jumping right into the shade Artemis and putting that on our brows as a highlighting um, shade. It's so pretty, like, ugh, I can't even describe how beautiful this shade is, and I absolutely love it. After that, I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Paris, the Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner in black and lining my eyes. I can't really do it on camera, so that's the best angle I could get. <laughs> But I just did kind of a thick line today. Um, usually I do a smaller one, but I just had to go for thick today. And then I curled my lashes, and then I'm going in with the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Frappe and putting that on my lower lash line, and then going into Cosmopolitan and putting that on my very inner lash line, if that makes sense, just to um, kind of connect everything that we've been doing so far. And then after I do that, I'm going to be taking the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara and putting that on my lower lash line. Next, we're gonna be doing our brows and I'm using the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara in the shade Two Brownie Brows. It looks really good for me. This is my first time using it. I think it really plumps my, my not my mascara, my eyebrows. Um, I really liked how it looked. And then I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and bronzing my face up a bit. After that, I've been obsessed with this blush stick. It's the Trace Deek. Um, baby blush stick and Bora Bora curl coral. It looks so pretty and blends out so easily with your fingertips and it looks so natural I absolutely love this so much and it just looks really natural and subtle Then I'm going to be taking the ColourPop highlighter and wisp. I just got this in my ipsy I believe um, For March and I'll have that video linked down below and in a card as well So pretty it just makes you glow <laughs> I'm checking it out right now as you can tell <laughs> And then taking the shade um, Velvet Teddy by MAC and putting that on my lips to finish off the look. And then right after that, I'm taking the MAC Huggable Kisses Lip Gloss in Sweet Persuasion and putting that on my lips to give it a little glossy plumpiness. And then this is how the look turned out. I hope you guys really liked this video and thanks for watching. So that completes this makeup look, you guys. I hope you guys really like it. I am in love with it. Um, I can't wait to do more tutorials on this palette and more looks with this palette. I'm really excited. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>